Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is pushing today. Um, I made a video a few hours ago and we talked about the importance for the white count, which is the bullish one, um, for the third wave to reach the 1.38 extension at least. Well, we did get there. So throughout the afternoon, I already added a support zone against which you know the focus could be on higher because the third wave in our bullish white scenario reached the minimum expectation. So that's 56,900. That doesn't mean it has to stop there because it didn't. <laughs> it's just the minimum expectation or let's say the first ideal target. Further extensions always possible. Um, now this could be a third wave still. Well, it has to be either a third wave or a C wave. This is not yet a fifth wave to the upside. We haven't seen a fourth wave yet. So the process is normally to just simply adjust the support region for a possible fourth wave until we have a top. Then we need to see if the pullback is corrective. If it is, we're watching this support zone and we could get another high. That would be bullish. Told you in the previous video that if we get a five wave move above 57K, I will consider to make the white count the primary scenario, but we haven't got five waves. Yeah, we have a break above 57k but it could just be an abc structure okay it's just a three wave move it's not even too high for a b wave circle b even though we had a really good day um, in crypto today but it's not too high for a b wave it is a little high for an internal c wave within b but it's not invalidated or anything yeah so what is that wa that white wave count for anybody who missed previous videos in the white scenario, a wave four likely bottomed on the 5th of August. And we're tracking now a move to the upside, wave one up, wave two down, wave three up, wave four down, wave five up. Should take us into the mid 70K region. And the price reacted to our support zone that I showed you on the daily chart here in this white wave two. But I highlighted to you what we need to see, a break above 57K. Yeah, that might make the yellow count a little bit less likely, but still it's only a three wave move up. So that means the situation hasn't really changed. We have no invalidation. Um, the next key level from an Elliott wave point of view to the upside is the wave two high, which formed on the 3rd of September. It's at 59,850, this yellow wave two high. Break above it would be more clearly bullish. But if we don't get five waves, we just don't have a clear setup. But remember what I said, we might not even see five waves up because we are dealing with a larger diagonal, right? So it could be tricky to confirm that wave two is bottom. So all I could do was to offer you a support region and highlight, look, it's got a good reward to risk ratio, but it will be tough to confirm that it started. Um, the yellow count is still plausible. It certainly lost bearish momentum or the bears lost momentum, I should rather say. We are pretty much at the same point for where we had really good short setups last week, but they don't have the, the, the same status now, right? I mean, the trend is up at the moment. Here, the trend was down, short-term trend. Now, the short-term trend is up. So if you want to short, I mean, it's up to you how you do it, but I can tell you only that it's up to you if you want to trade against the trend, yeah? If you trade against momentum or... Do you wait until momentum is breaking down and you see sort of a micro one, two setup to the downside? Just two different approaches. Both can work. Depends on the risk profile of the trader. And we have now, we're now really extended. So I have adjusted support. Support for a fourth wave is now between 55,330 and 57,044. And if we're holding it, we can get a fourth wave and then one more high, and that would be potentially bullish. So as long as we only have three waves for now, I'm still leaning towards the yellow count, but I haven't seen evidence for a continuation to the downside. Okay, so that's what's outstanding. And it would be confirmed um, to a degree at least with a break below 55,330. So someone asked in the last video, are we not looking anymore for 45.5K? Um, still looking for it. Still watching for it um, because we haven't got five waves up. Okay, so the situation itself hasn't changed, but the trend is obviously up short term. So 
I think at the moment it's all about waiting for either a bullish setup, which would form if we have five waves up and three waves down, or waiting for a short trade setup, <laughs> which is giving us, uh, which would be a break of the upside momentum now, and a micro five wave move down and three wave move up, and ideally a break of support 55.3k. So we, a break of support would indicate trend continuation to the downside, while a five wave move up is needed to really confirm that we have a more substantial low in place. And that would be really good for the altcoins, really good for the altcoins, because a lot of the altcoins have formed one, two setups, just very questionable ones. And for many altcoins, it's the last chance to really hold their, their bullish um, setups. Yeah? So that's all I can say at the moment about Bitcoin. I cannot really, let's say, fix the support area on the chart. We might still push a little bit higher. If we do, I will adjust the support area. You'll always get the latest updates on uh, on Discord for gold members, or sometimes some of these updates are also published on Twitter. You can check that out as well. The link is to be found in the description. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.